Ever pondered the paradox of crime and the justice that should follow it? Today, we're delving into the moral intricacies of crime and punishment, as masterfully presented by Fyodor Dostoevsky in his timeless classic. Dive into the depths of Dostoevsky's mind to uncover the themes that have kept readers captivated for centuries. First, we delve into the human mind, a battlefield of moral and immoral forces. Crime and Punishment delves deep into the psychology of crime, exploring how Raskolnikov justifies his actions and the mental torment that follows. In Raskolnikov's mind, the line between right and wrong blurs, leading him down a path of self-destruction. Next, we encounter the theme of redemption through suffering, a path paved with pain. In Crime and Punishment, Dostoevsky explores this through Raskolnikov's journey. Racked by guilt, punished by his conscience, he eventually finds redemption. For Dostoevsky, it seems, redemption is not a gift, but a prize won through the crucible of suffering. Finally, we confront society, the silent observer, and the harsh judge. Dostoevsky scrutinizes society's role in crime and punishment, showing how norms and expectations steer individual actions. A person's deeds are often a mirror, reflecting the society they inhabit. In the eyes of society, one is guilty until proven innocent. So, what does crime and punishment tell us about the human condition? Dostoevsky's masterpiece, through its exploration of crime psychology, redemption through suffering and society's role, offers profound insights into our world. Its themes resonate today, echoing in our justice systems, personal struggles, and societal dynamics. As Dostoevsky shows us, the themes of crime, punishment, and redemption are as relevant today as they were in 19th century Russia.